Jagex recently has been reworking a few skills, with the most recent ones being thieving, runecrafting and of course farming. One is bigger than the other, but it made me wonder, what skills should be next for them to rework? Let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chevelric and today we're going to be talking about the miniature skill reworks that Jagex has been doing over the last year and a half, starting with the Divination one and obviously with the most recent one with runecrafting, thieving and farming. I really like them. I personally really, really do like them and I think this is a great way to revitalize certain parts of a skill or a skill in general. We'll talk about it in a little bit in this video, of course, but we're going to mainly be focusing on what skills should be next because there are many skills that are very outdated or are very just irrelevant or stupid or whatever you want to call it that, in my opinion, could really use with one of these updates. If you're going to enjoy this video, definitely go give it a like, join in with the discussion in the comment section down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's just get into the video. So, first things first, what are these little skill reworks? If you don't know what I mean by these, and I'm very surprised if you don't, it's like them reworking a skill, but without doing it the mining and smithing rework way. Obviously, mining and smithing fully reworked those skills in their essence, in their core, like the way they function with how you mine, how you smith, how the heat system, everything has been changed with mining and smithing. And I love it. I think it's great. But I also understand that they can't do that for every single skill because the mining and smithing rework, they've talked about it before, is huge. Like, there's a lot of things we don't see about the rework for us it's just well you remove the old system you added a new system but you gotta think about all the quests that they need to update all the things that they need to update like the way armors work the way armor values work the way you know how it's calc like there's way 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 more to it than even i can think but i understand that they can't do that for every single skill and the recent thing that they've been doing is small reworks like it started with the divination one as far as i know at least where they pretty much like increase the experience rates a little bit and they increase the gathering speed which also increase the experience rate making actual divination training especially with the relic from archaeology a viable method to get 99. I believe that if you have all the boosts active, you can get like 350k, 400k experience an hour at the highest divination spot, which I think is really good. Like, I think you should be training the skill the core way and not doing caches or some other way. And that's what I really like with their thieving rework as well. They increase the experience rates, well, kind of, with 50% by the sticky relics relic that currently has a auto pickpocket feature but that's now for every pickpocket which i think is really good because just constantly clicking pickpocket is stupid especially because there are npcs where it's not needed and i like it but they pretty much increase the pickpocketing rate by 50 percent increasing the experience rate 50 percent so it competes a little bit more with safe cracking and there's nothing wrong with safe cracking i love safe cracking i think it's a great great training method and i'm glad that it's still best in slot and that they didn't just simply nerf it because that's also a way to go about it nerf something else but no instead they buff something else and that is i think way better and way more fun for the people playing the game but what is next? What skill should be next in my opinion? Oh wait, actually I forgot about farming. Farming like fully like changed its system as well at the core, making it so that farming will be the best way to get herbs, which I think is good. I made a whole video about that bossing is the best way of skilling and hopefully with this farming thing, obviously it's too short for me or too soon for me to tell, it will fix that issue and make farming the actual best method to get the herbs. Hopefully the herbs will not be too expensive, for people wanting to train herb lore and then we have that issue again because i feel like overloads finally became reasonably priced for people and now they might go up ridiculous amounts again because people don't want to farm but we don't know yet we'll have to wait and see on that but what skills next what do i think should be reworked next because there's quite a lot of skills that are kind of outdated one thing that comes to mind for me is fishing the experience rates of fishing are abysmal not as bad as wood cutting We'll get into that in a little bit later but fishing experience pretty much it gets good when you get to Priftiness at the later levels i think you can go there at level 93 at the waterfall if i am correct and whilst that is not too bad because it's afk pretty decent experience rates it's just it's not really in the essence i feel of fishing i feel like fishing you should be catching fish and you shouldn't be catching some weird ass like currency that you could spend in a reward shop no you should be getting fish and then you could say well you could really do fishing but then again 
most people just want to get their 99s or want to train up to a certain level for a quest and yeah they will do that with the fastest way that's just how people work that's just whatever you think about it that is just how people play this game and that's completely fine however i think by either increasing the catch rate by like 50 percent so making it quicker to catch fish or by just increasing the experience rates flat out with like a certain percentage to at least compete with waterfall fishing yet again you don't have to fully nerf waterfall fishing not at all just make sure that the other fishing because for example, if you increase the XP rates and the fishing rates of, you know, catching sharks, unless you're using a Grace of the Elves, which costs you money to use, you need to run to the bank. That will also take time and hits your XP slash GP, but also gets food into the game and makes, well, fishing the best way to, you know, gather fish instead of PVM drops with raw fish. That's a way for me, at least, to fish, fix fishing. Skills that I feel like you can't really fix, and those are kind of cooking, fletching, crafting, and fire making. Because I feel like in essence, what is there for you to really change about those skills that make it worth it? You could say, well, cooking because, well, it's already the best way to get cooked fish. Because as far as I know, there's not really bosses that drop 2000 sharks. No, they drop raw sharks that need to be cooked. And I feel like cooking is a bit in a weird place with that because it's just a skill that is useful for people. But at the same time, I feel like people are also kind of like, you just train it to 99 and that's it. Like, I don't feel like unless you're an Iron Man, people are really cooking their own food. So I think that one is in a bit of a weird place. Same with crafting, like crafting and fletching, especially. They are just kind of there serving their purpose. But they aren't really like skills that have any use. And yet again, I don't feel like every skill should have a use. Like for example, Herbal, where you need to get 96 to get Overload. There's good sides to that, but there's also bad sides about that. Like obviously I have it, so I don't mind. And it's easy to me to make it. But then again, certain people also, you know... I always think about the casual point of view. And I don't mean the casual player. I mean the casual casual player. The guy that hops on like every day for like an hour or two hours and i know that's very short for runescape but those people do exist and i do understand that th that those people don't constantly especially if they just want to use pvm in like every few days or every two weeks spend like an hour or two hours making overloads i do understand that i do get it and that's why i think a good middle way with that is you know you're now able to buy extremes and you're now able to buy the supersets and everything you need to make an overload i think that's good i think that's a very very good fix for that but with fletching and crafting i don't really see anything they can change with it i think they're good i guess where they are at and if you really want to like rework fletching for example you have to do it with an overall arcing one with fire making and wood cutting and fire making kind of falls into a category for me where it's just kind of the essence of the skill you're burning logs the only way to really fix it is like how old school did it with a winter tot type of boss but then again you go away from the core way to train the skill and i feel like fire making it's just fire making you know what i mean like it is what it is there's nothing you can really change about it because the essence of that skill is literally burning logs and making fires and that's it there's nothing you can do about it. And I feel like they should be left in their place. Another skill that I find a bit strange to find a rework concept of is construction. Because the real essence of the skill or the real purpose of the skill when it was made is kind of to flex your house. Like that is pretty much what construction used to be is, oh, you can show off your wealth and your achievements in your house and invite people to your house for house parties, which right now in 2022 is a concept very foreign for us. Who goes to house parties in RuneScape? But obviously back in the day, especially when construction came out, it was huge. I mean, look at the Fellow Draw Massacre that all originated at a house party with construction. And that kind of just shows that that skill isn't there's nothing wrong with it but just the times have changed and should they rework it and how would they rework it you could say okay well have overworld houses but imagine all those thousands and thousands of people having a house in runescape somewhere that, that, that that's gonna be horrible it's gonna cause lag and it's just construction is just kind of an outdated skill but not necessarily because of how the skill functions but more so on how the skill 
is in the social concept or social idea of RuneScape in 2022, which is a weird place, in my opinion. Like, obviously, I made an entire video on that as well, so go check that out if you want. But in general, like, it's, it's strange because construction still serves its purpose for what it is. Like, you can flex everything in your house. Obviously, it's not as good as in old school. And yet again, I feel like old school did a good job with making it relevant with, like, the pool of restoration, the jewelry boxes. And it's your best way to, like, transport across the game. But then again... RuneScape 3, which already has a smaller player base, you don't want to push people in instances. And for example, I would love a clan rework where, you know, you have everything like Wars Retreat in a clan citadel. But then again, places will be empty. And the last thing you want, especially for new players who are not aware of, you know, clans or, you know, a player owned house that has everything in it. You don't want them to think that this game is dead or empty. Right now, if you go to Wars Retreat, there's always people there. And that's a good thing. And that's the only reason I see to fix construction is make the house relevant. But then you're pushing away people from places and making the game feel less alive. And lastly, the deadest skill of them all, woodcutting. Why? Woodcutting is horrible. If you want to properly train woodcutting. And I'm thinking when you're training a skill, right? I'm not thinking after 99 i'm thinking till 99 because the majority of players will not go above 99 unless they go for 120 escapes or 120 or whatever and it is an actual 120 skill unlike woodcutting which goes up to 99 and that's it i feel like woodcutting is the worst skill within runescape and here's why you train it pretty quickly at the start it's a really nice scribe but then you pretty much get to level i would say level 60 or something and then you're kind of stuck the best training method for woodcutting is unlocked at like 48 at the Acadia trees. That is not good. That is a very, very, very bad thing. It is the best way to power level your woodcutting until you're able to go to the arc at the late 90 levels. Which, yeah, I don't know, but that doesn't sound right to me. I feel like there should at least be something in between. But then again, if you properly want to train woodcutting, you need to use a Saren spell on it, which is the crystallized one, and then cut it that way. And I feel like woodcutting can really do with a, you know, different system where kind of like how it works with the progression bar with like mining or just flat out experience rate increases. Because, my lord, it is so terrible to actually train and it's so slow and... I'm not against like the slowness really, but I feel like it's more, it's so out of tune and so out of date with all the other skills. I feel like all the other skills kind of have, like this smooth kind of progression with it. And I mean, some skills, all skills are repetitive. RuneScape is a repetitive game, but at woodcutting, you train to level 48 and then till pretty much like 90 or 92, you're at the same tree. You're at the same tree till 92. There's no reason to go to any other tree in between and either fix it by adding trees in between or just increase the experience rates of other ones or like you know cut rates of use and magic locks and you could say like oh well there will be too many use or magic locks coming into the game will nerf the drop rates because i literally have tens of thousands of magic locks just from pvming and i haven't really been pvming for recently for that long so increase it that way like genuinely like decrease the pvm drops like you don't have to fully like you know get rid of them but like buff the experience like buff the gathering rate also the experience rate in in turn of cutting actual logs by i don't know like double it for for all i care and then you know you just half the pvm drops and there you go you fixed it that's it you're done perfect but do something about it because it's so out of tune with all the other skills at least in my personal opinion when it comes to experience rates gathering rates etc let me know in the comment section down below what you think about which skill needs to rework, what skills you agree with, what skills you don't disagree with, what's your favorite skill rework. Let me know in the comment section down below. I should write wrong songs because I got these bars. Anyway, um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Definitely go leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, my name is Javelric and I shall see you guys in my next video.